also is going to be good against something like a Razor. Yeah. Um, like, that's why the Batride and Marcy I've seen in Eastern Europe really do well. Nature's Prophet, maybe not Mar Mar Marcy. Pretty good here, although. Rotation from Carl. Yeah, raging. Chased up. They've got the coil, but they'll dispose first. Eventually, still holding on to that coil as Cuckoo's going to come in now. And in fact, they have enough. They'll use the coil up for that secondary kill onto Arfu, but a nice blinding light away from Moon. Gotta make sure. Carl isn't really able to dip into the jungle to get that farm. And SMG finds a free tier one bot. So we do find oh. that early tower, though. Oh, I think I might have just jinxed mid one. Carl just walks up freely, gets a coil off, and uh, he literally just walked up and did it, John. Uh, just no kind of rotation, no game sense there to try and avoid it, and there's a very easy pick up for T1. He's now bot lane. They might try to apply some pressure, but Dispose is there. Ah, uh, Fu, in fact, never mind. Pylai die. He's going to go for a hook shot into the cogs and battery assault onto Gabby, who's going to have to try and fight back. But with the battery assault, it's very challenging. And now Moon's here to pick off the, uh, the TB. SMG. Luminate's going to fight right through Zephyr. Pylai die, obviously not going to hook shot into the tier two, but Whitemon. He's in trouble now. Chase is on, but instead, no, they see, they see Cuckoo. They want the bigger target. White one is around to try and help out with the rebound, but is not going to be able to get there thanks to the gust of mid one. And that I mean, Cuckoo is going to drop here on the uh, the Dawnbreaker. It's T1 unable to respond once again with this uh, with this draft. Now the Ooh. hook shot. Pylai die right on target. Has found White one. That'll be another hit for SMG. Yeah. And again, they, they just started this lane, but is number three now. T1 trying to get a chase, but they can't even catch Afu fully here. They're gonna try. I mean, Carl's got the Dream Coil if he wants, but Overgrowth's gonna lock him down. Carl, he needs a way out. He's gonna try and Waiting Rift his way out with an orb, but surely the Gust is gonna be enough. Great setup from Afu. It's T1. I'm not sure what they're trying to do here, but it's a complete mess for them. It's Cuckoo now. Well, he'll try to run out of there, but the Illuminate gonna fly right through him. Zephyr. Well, he's going to get cogs here by Pylai Dai, and well, he's going to stand his ground and try to fight this one out. It's a slow process from SMG, but they'll get another. And this is all off the back of Moon, Jonathan. On this Keeper of the Light... I haven't been able to find those opportunities. They need to be able to catch some of these heroes out. Even if you just kill Cuckoo? one at this point for the kisses, you just take it. Oh, drag back with the blind, and Cuckoo's gone. The T1, uh, they're all over the place this game one, John. A complete mess here. In, in that sense, they are achieving their objective. Gabby is managing to farm, but they're not able to do anything else. It's just a stall game. Oh, overgrowth out Afu. Perfect initiation. Hook shots off the mark. Is it going to matter? Carl in trouble on that puck. Trying to phase shift out of there, Ooh. but he's not going to make it. Or even Cuckoo just trying to save, but can't do anything. So at least there's no creep wave here for SMG. T1 though, can they actually defend? The creep wave's incoming. Raging will frontline for them. <laughs> Onto the bot racks they go and... Well, Gabby, he's popped the meta, but he can't actually stand there and hit people. The Illuminate keeps healing them up. Look at Wyamon. Oh Wyamon's gone. Yeah, it's it's not at the point where they're terrible. SMG keeping up the aggression while also knowing their limits to an extent. And Again, for, yeah. for T1, this is this is tough because it feels like they're not going to get an opening unless SMG hands them one. And the push coming out from SMG is just so quick. They can sustain the creep wave as well. Uh, and Carl's trying. Afu uh, not going to go for the overgrowth this time around. It, it just, no matter how much damage they take, John, another Illuminate flies through. Carl, what's this Dream Coil for exactly? Hook shot oh. out. Pylai die. He'll initiate. Are they going too far? SMG, they might lose Raging immediately, and they do! Overgrowth was there from Arthur, but hits nothing, as now they can take the fight. Pylai die, gonna drop, in goes Carl, onto the tree protector. Arthur's gonna go down a mid one. He's being chased, he does have the Aegis up though, and is still not dropping that first life. Pothel can't just instantly gun him down with a couple of Illuminate. Still, SMG feeling confident. They smoke up once more. A hook shot at the ready for Pylai Dai. Could see a big kill. Oh, right under vision. Pylai Dai. Right on target. Gabby, he's the big one. No Sunder. Just can't come out with the battery assault. The sad thing was as well, John, that, you know, your flip flops are different. Moon? Top lane? Not in a minute. <laughs> 
be a very good setup here. Carl, he's going to get sight the vice up. Moon, once again setting up into the oh. hook shot of Pile I Die. Cookie, going to save Carl for a moment, but Moon is on the chase for that orb as the Illuminate flies through. Rocket Flare will give the vision. Carl, he's having such a rough time trying to get out of this as Moon will not leave Ooh. him alone, but Carl, able to get out in the end. And look at that, John. Gabby now has an Eye of Skadi up. Is he going to be looking for an opening here from SMG? Again, Arfu still doesn't have a blink up, John, so you can't rely on the overgrowth. Instead, SMG, they're going to try and chip away at the rack slowly here with mid one. They will smoke up from the backside. Just let mid one be the bait. He's got double lives anyway. White Mon going to go for a rebound uh, into the dispose. Doesn't even go for the rebound. Just the blink in. Doesn't get the dispose either. But Carl is going to make the jump in for a moment. Again, just trying to chip away at the HP pools of SMG. Problem is they have a Keeper of the Light. Raging. Going to be forced to BKB up as Cuckoo now going to be chased down. Raging just deletes him along with Moon. Cuckoo just disappearing. As Gabby is going to try and fight, but the Link is out, draining all his attack damage away. Gabby, he is tickling Raging Potato right now. They do take him out, though. That'll be the Razor gone, but Cuckoo will die a second time. Don't worry about no kisses. Dream Coil is there, but the follow up doesn't feel like it's going to be there necessarily. I'm trying to protect Gabby, make sure he does remain safe, but the Metamorphosis is about to wear off, John. He's running out of options here. They have not got a fight to go their way. Zephyr now being slowed up by the Solar Bind. And look at Pile I Die right in onto the Terror Blade with the cogs out. But they are kind of ignoring him. They won't go for Gabby. They just want the Megas. It's so a very safe play from mid one. Perfectly fine though if they do get away with the Mega Creeps. To just play this one conservatively. They don't want to have one of those situations happen again. This is the puck. Gonna be used up. Nice gust out from mid one. Hookshot in. Pile I die. He found the turret blade again. Gabby needs a Sunder target. We'll get one off onto Arfu. And he's gonna be able to survive for now, but so will Arfu. Unless Zephyr can finish the job, but cannot. Have a little bit more at the very least. The smoke on smoke is here. See how they go. Only one buyback on the map right now, and that's Pile I die. Whitemon jumping in, but immediately burst it down. Raging. Force the BKB and run. Mid one, very far forward. Hookshot is there from Pile I Die, but now the overgrowth has been committed and raging. He'll move in to try and get some damage out onto Gabby, but Gabby, he's gonna man fight back. Raging is not taking much damage at all. Gabby, he's the oh. one in trouble. Oh, he is just melting. And GG's called. SMG. This time around, very disciplined. Do not throw the game back the way of T1. And John, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think Moon, he played this game perfectly on the Coddle. Absolutely yeah, brilliant. Moon. Moon played really well. That's a nice smiley in the background of Raging Potato as he is a very happy guy with a green screen. And for SMG, I, I, you know, we heard the players. We heard what Raging said they had to do. They had to be a little bit Ooh. more disciplined coming into the series. They had to do a little <laughs> bit more, you know, not get overconfident because it felt like SMG's worst enemy was themselves. They play a perfect game. They play very smoothly, very calculated.